hurry, hurry, drive, just drive, quick, just drive. We are getting out of the house without the girls. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of the driveway. Actually, even though we're leaving the house, we have had times when the girls have called us when we've gotten down the road and said, come back, I wanna go. We need to get past the point of no return so that we they can't call us back. Sam and I never get to go out alone ever and finally we are. We're going to the pet store. <laughs> We're going to the pet store because one, I need to get crickets for Sophie's dragon and two, I need to get a new comb for Ellie. I only have one comb that I love. Like she needs very specific brushing stuff and I lost it yesterday. I thought I brought it in the truck with me so that I could brush her on the way to where we were going. I guess on Saturday. No, we took the truck. I took it in the truck. The beach, though. And I didn't take the brush to the beach. I took it yesterday, or on Saturday, when we went to took Sophie to the Pestle place. But anyway, we're headed into town to do some shopping, and we're going to have some fun alone time. What do you want to do? What do you want to talk about? Oh my gosh, let's see what Sam wants to talk about. It. Actually, let's let you guys experience alone time with me and Sam. Pretend they are just me. Go ahead, Sam. Talk. What do you want to talk about? No, you can either talk about crypto cars. So he only has a few things that uh, he, he talks about. He free talks energy. About free energy, <laughs> crypto coins, which he's big into, cars. What else do you like to talk about? All the things wrong with the world in in like government. He likes to talk about government. Those are our choices. No wonder we bring the kids. <laughs> Just kidding. I learned a lot from being with Sam. Got the combs right over here. Yeah, that's that's somewhat what I need. That might work. Yeah. But I like this kind better because it has a handle. All right. Well, thank you. All right, so I'm in the pet store. This is a different pet store. It's where I get the crickets, and they have literally everything you could want here. I think I'm gonna end up with this comb because it's got the two different kinds of, it's good for medium, long, curly, or wiry. What is Ellie? She hates brushes like that. Never tried a brush like that on her, though. Somebody suggested that I get a bell. I have a bell on her, but it's not a good bell. Anyway, I'm going to look at their harnesses here, too, just to double check and see if they have something different. They have the same one. I wonder how much this one is. Actually, this one looks cuter, smaller somehow, and it's way cheaper. $10 instead of $22. I paid $22 at the other pet store, and this one's $10. All the winter stuff is on 40% off. If I can find something pink that will fit Ellie, I'm getting it. Nothing pink. I got these stop pulling harnesses. They're supposed to be really good. Yeah. Some in. Yeah, and I got new leashes. They only had red and black. But a guy was telling me, the guy that worked behind the counter was telling me that how good they are because if the whore, if the dog tries to pull, it's attached to their stomach, I don't know. He was explaining it to me. My dog already doesn't pull. I know. She said she wasn't going to go to the dollar store, and here we are. Leashes too, matching leashes. Leashes. I already have a good leash. Try it on. This is the best kind of leash. I'm gonna guess. You like you that kind of leash? Like this. All right. All of her dogs are like, I know you were at the dollar store. They're like, we know you got Put it, the leash so. on and let's try it. <gasps> so Sophie actually takes her dog outside at night and she's been practicing walking her and, and getting her not yeah. to pull. Yeah. She doesn't so, pull. What? So anyways, I have some footage of that because we didn't get, didn't get into the vlog. So I'm going to show it to you guys right now. But of, Ellie was annoying her, so it didn't work too well. Yeah, it worked good until Ellie. Ellie is annoying. Ellie annoys everybody. Come here. Ellie and Gracie are our annoyers. Stop by her leg. Ellie had a bath again this morning. <laughs> That's why she looks so ragged. Okay, so Sophie, Ellie, Sophie taught Daisy to walk perfectly on a leash. And this is how she did it. Ellie. And then there's my wild creature. <laughs> so she said, whenever, whenever Daisy doesn't listen, 
she, whenever Daisy doesn't listen, Ellie, come here. She said that whenever Daisy doesn't listen, she stops and waits and then Daisy just sits down. My dog is not helping though. Good girl. <laughs> You're crazy. All right, come on. Let's go back this way. Look at people out here. Oh, Good girl. Oh, no, nope, not yet. So that's pretty good. Call your dog. Daisy, Ellie. To let her know that we're turning. Oh, breakaway collar. <laughs> breakaway collar. I was trying to hold Ellie. She broke away. Super impressive. That dog has never walked that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ellie is annoying. Keep in mind, she's just a baby. <laughs> she's biting. Yeah, I don't blame her for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Don't mind our messy table. Okay, get her to walk. Maybe we can take the dogs for a walk and we'll see if they work. Okay, on the road. Yeah. She walks on the leash inside. Yeah. See, she oh, doesn't. She, she doesn't like it. She, she doesn't likes. like it. She stops right away. She doesn't like it. Anyway, we're gonna try those and see if they work. I also got some new bows for Ellie. I'm gonna put a bow in her hair today and see how she looks. Because it's, I know, I like her with a big uh, bow, though. It stops her, though. Yeah, it does stop her. Come here. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on, Molly. Come, Molly. Come here, Molly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, she won't even try because she doesn't like it. Yeah, see, it stops them from... Good job. A guy would say, I mean, I don't think she's using it appropriately right now, telling her to go and then her stopping her. But I, they might work for us when we go places. I did end up buying this Tangles and Matt's Magic co uh, Comb for Ellie. Can I open it? Yeah. I also bought this other brush because I don't have a brush to brush her. So her her comb, her hair looks cute now because she had a bath, but it often just looks scraggly even when I use the comb to brush it. All right, wait. She's like, I do not like that thing. I can't brush my dog's hair. Try it on Ellie. Yeah, see, I want her to like, <laughs> She does not like no any, toy. She does not like any not kind of brushing. Not a toy. But I thought this would be softer. I Let me show them. I would have got it just for the pink packaging. Yeah, it's no tangles, and it's pink. <laughs> anyway, I brush her two times a day. I use a comb in the morning, and I use a brush at night. But Gabby took my brush away. She said it was her, so I had to get something new. I also got some fork, and I got a bunch of combs from the dollar store because I needed the kind that have this long thing here so that when I'm ready to do a good top knot on Ellie, I can use that. She looks so cute. I'm having problems with um, the hair between her eyes. I need to like trim that, but I don't know where to where like what to trim. And also these little flyaway things, no matter what I do, they don't grow. Today I was cleaning off the dining room table and I saw these two grouch Oscar the Grouch Balls. I said, who bought these, Sam? Why did you buy them? I don't know, I think they'd be good for something. Somebody said that I was a shopaholic. Sam, Is look it. Me? Yeah. Don't, don't take it off. Where? No, but let's see. It's been on all day. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, got it off. Gabby's got a heart. You put it on. Gabby's got a heart take on her off. back. Take I did. No, take I did off. take it off. A heart on her butt. Oh. Wow, those things don't come off. Oh, all right. Wow. Anyway, it is way colder today. Yeah. Let's see what the temperature is. It is that stuck to my 52. 52. Oh my gosh. Well, Ellie! Ellie, don't go out there. So we clean the outdoor arena. Like we clean that field. Yes. Ellie! <laughs> Everybody <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of Ellie. Ellie, you may not know, but there's a horse coming for you. <laughs> Hi, baby. She doesn't care about anything. Hi. Wow, Willow over here is a chicken. Allie, Allie, get over here. Good hey. girl, good girl. Anyway, horses are hard. I'm not kidding. 
Penny's actually cold. So I'm gonna have to brush her and get all that, that wet off of her. The problem is I washed all of our brushes, literally all of them. I washed these bags and all of our brushes are all mixed up. But they're all clean. These are all, these are not all of our brushes. These are all my brushes. And maybe a couple of Sophie's. I don't think it's good for horses, you guys, for it to be like freezing cold and then scorching hot and then cold again. Like, I don't think it's good for them. Anyway, I even watched Sophie's ribbons. I'm hoping that Brooklyn can do a lead line class this summer. I like to have as many hoof picks as I can get. And apparently we have two of these things which are good for mud. My grooming gloves. I just want to keep pink stuff in my bag. I also found this. It's something that you attach to your horse trailer so that, and it hooks up to your horse trailer so that you can uh, attach your horse to your horse trailer when you're at a show so you can groom them. And I found this, which is Sophie's little thing that she can hang her grooming box on. So I wanted to get those out. But I think the reason why I hate my bag so much is because I overfill it. I think if I just stay to the, the normal things, that I think if I just stick to like a few things in there that it won't go over packed and then I'll be fine. That is mine. Oh, that's my hard brush. I stuck a, I stuck another hard brush in here because I thought that I didn't have one. All right. So these are all of our extra brushes. I don't know if I should make like a kit for, oh, that's mine too. I don't know if I should make, and that's mine. I don't know if I should make like a kit for the grandkids so that they can have their own brushes, especially if Brooklyn goes to a show. So those are all the leftovers. I'm gonna groom Penny right now, get her warmed up. I brought down a bucket of warm water because I wanted to clean all of our buckets before I put stuff away. But I noticed Penny shivering and that's not like her. So I'm going to groom her, put a blanket on her just because the weather change has just been so drastic. Chino is having lunch. Hey, come here. Come on, Red. You got treats? Come on. No, I just wanted to. Gabby's detangling Gracie. She's like, get out of my way, puppy. But it's the perfect size for her. Ellie's like, oh, get it, get out from underneath the pony. Ellie. Ellie. Actually, so throw it for, throw it for. Penny? Pet for hunt, for Ellie? Ellie, because little dogs Ellie. like that. If you drop Ellie. it from above. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> drop it, like dro hold it up and drop it on her Ellie. nose. Drop it on her nose. Get it. Right, she has to get desensitized to it first. Ellie. So hyper. All right, Penny, I'm coming for you. Ellie, go get it. Where is she? Ellie. Get it, get Ellie. It. Oh, look, Honey wants it. Honey's like, yeah. So, Sophie said that Honey, Sophie said Honey was actually playing with it. All right, so I put something warm on her and gave her some hay, cleaned her up, groomed her, and gave her some hay because she was shaking just a little tiny bit. Um, and she never shakes, she never gets cold not like a cold horse, but she's, that's not like her. It has to be because of the drastic change. Sophie, tonight at nighttime when it gets colder, you need to put a uh, neck on Willow. Listen, I was just beside this pony and she was clean. She's an Appaloosa now. I think Ellie's a, a ball dog. She wants to play. I think what happened with Penny is that the, t the weather dropped and then as she rolled in wet. She's like, you didn't Because it me. rained last night. Don't get out of my 
Don't kick it that hard. Sophie, did you hear what I said? You need to find a neck for a neck for Willow so she can have it for tonight. Horses are so stressful, man. Like you leave them for one minute and you come back later and something crazy is going on. Sophie, by the time I get back, I want you to have her cleaned off. Doing? I'm gonna go do some sorting in the other room. So Gabby, you should get some of that hoof stuff and put it in your, where's, where's that hoof doctor? There. All right, you should put that in your bag. Gabby's got all different stuff for Chino. She's got, Hoof, or she's got this Caretex stuff. You should use the Caretex until it's all gone. She's got iodine. She's got muscle liniment. You name it. She's got it. I feel like we bought a lot of stuff this winter that we don't really have room for. All right. So my plan is to make a spot for everything. I want to clean out these buckets and reassign them. See, like these are my wormers. These wormers should go in here with all the rest of my wormers. I have enough wormers to do all the all the horses. All right, so we're sorting through all these buckets. Believe it or not, even I have a lot of stuff. You should put this stuff in your bag too. This is that paste that we've tried on Chino's feet before. I think it's called putty. Can you put that with your stuff? I'm gonna give you a whole bucket system and you're gonna have it to put all your stuff in. I don't know if we should each take one of these buckets and put all of our stuff in it or we should like separate things by horse. The thing is about horses is that Sophie has a lot of like cob stuff that she doesn't use anymore because her horse, oh, everybody thinks she's a rat. Hi. <laughs> I have three of these buckets. I like to organize them. So this is like the wash one. It has all of our wash stuff. I actually need to get more shampoo. These are my favorite sponges. I'm missing that? a lot of stuff. You're missing a lot of yeah, stuff? Yeah, I have so many air bottles. I know. I think I'm going to have to get a couple more of these bags because I really like to keep them all labeled. I'm going to label them. This one is like feet stuff, but then I have sunscreen in it. This one is bathing stuff, and it's all just bathing stuff. But then this one has got... I think it's a perfect... This one's got like braiding stuff, and then also boot cleaning stuff, and then bug spray. The bug spray should go in here. Sophie's got her jump boots. I remember Gabby one. Yeah, so those you will fit your new horse, probably. So put those away someplace. I'm not getting rid of them. I know, but do you think, so do you use jump boots in Western? No. Yeah, because they're jump boots. Oh, okay, so well, we have those. We do not have enough room in our barn anymore. All right, so there's Gabby's stuff. So the sad thing is I spent a lot of money on a custom saddle for Sophie and now it's going to sit. It's going to sit at least for the summer because that's how long Sophie's going to commit to trying Western to see if she likes it. All right, we're, we're getting there. Polo wraps, jump boots, and I love that Ellie just comes and sits and watches everything she we do. On me. She jumped Multiple on you? Times. Multiple times. Are you telling me she's a brat? Yes. Gabby got these at her Christmas banquet. Some brushes. You can keep them, Gabby, and if you don't want them, throw them in the communal pile and I'll put them, because I'm gonna make like... Gabby, this is yours. Gonna make some brush boxes for the grandkids. Why don't you use that as your Western bag? Do Western brushes come in different bags? They come in the same bags. There is no Western brush. <laughs> I don't know. Like, do Western riders use different bags? They use all the same bags as us. All right, why don't you wash that and we'll put like a, a set. I need to ask any brushes. Why? You just told me that Western riders use the same brushes. No, because if I want to use them at the barn. Yeah, and leave them there? Rain rot or whatever it was. Yeah, so we could buy like our own that we just leave at that barn. Polo wraps we have a lot of, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, Gabby, watch where you're throwing. Yeah, I think we should sort through them, see what we want to keep and see what we want to get rid of. So I'm going to maybe put a purple set in here. A red set in here, if I have enough. And then a pink set in here. I know, Gracie did have a bunch of pink stuff. Anyway, I did three different buckets. Tried to stay with the color theme, but did the best I could. All right, so I'm just gonna put them on here so my grandkids have their own brushes. 
these are some of the things that, that people have made for us and I'd like to hang them up as like uh, a, rem um, a remembrance of like all of our horses. I love these. I love them all. <laughs> Look at my baby. She's cold. Is she cold? All right, we'll go up. Elizabeth, say hi to the vlog, Elizabeth. <laughs> you have the worst timing. Parents always do. Why? What were? You, what was she doing? Stuffing her face with food. Oh, that's all right. They can't see you. For the longest time, we lost all of our standing wraps, and I found them. In fact. We have two sets in here. I lost one set, so we bought another. These are them. Um, all right, so there is the shelf. I got it all cleaned off. We got all of our helmets, all of our boots, all of our extra brushes. Oh my God, there's a mouse. Did you see it? Yeah. Where's Ellie? They took Ellie. How's Penny? She's nice and warm now. Oh, good. All right, I rescued the girls from Lauren on our cleaning spree. Been working on my lawn tractor. There it is. Pumped up tires, getting it ready. Uh, battery's a bit dead, I have to recharge it. But the girls are in here, along with the doggy. And I'm gonna save them and go get some coffee. <laughs> been hours a ton has gotten done you guys just won't be able to tell because I still have a lot to finish so I got a garbage bag full of stuff um, we each have a cubby like a little thing underneath the saddle this is mine as you can see I got nothing <laughs> these are these are this is Sophie's and some beeswax and then I have some boots that's it these are the girls. This is all the stuff that I have to still clean up and reorganize, but that is not all of it. This stuff over here, I want to take up to, up to the house and wash it, like all of our uh, saddlebags and stuff. Over here, stuff I need to find a home for, like these two boots that Sam bought. Of course, as soon as he bought these boots for Chino, so if he has another abscess, then he can use them or anything he has to cold hose him. Um, he stopped getting abscesses. Knock on wood. Penny is nice and warm. She's got a full belly. And she has on her rain blanket again, just so she doesn't get cold again. I don't know. It has to, like, she's never been shivery before. The girls have gone up. I'm going to go get supper dinner ready. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the